In the afternoon of July the 31st, a 112 call came from a forest machine operator about a small fire that had broken out when he was working. Sparks from his machine had caused grass to ignite. The 112 operator geo-positioned the caller and contacted the nearest two fire stations. What started as a small fire was now becoming the largest fire in Sweden in modern times. On July the 4th, the three municipalities that were affected decided to hand over responsibility to the Swedish state, an action only rarely taken. Soon, a large number of people were involved in the rescue operation. Four airplanes, two of which had been sent from France and Italy and were especially built for water bombing, and 12 helicopters dropped water over the area. Personnel from SOS Alarm were among those dealing with the rescue operation. SOS Alarm's Crisis Management Centre alerted the relevant County Administration Board and the Swedish Civil Contingencies Agency on the 1st of August and then facilitated communication between the authorities throughout the fire. They also arranged a large number of telephone conferences with the aim of sharing awareness about the situation and a common operational picture. SOS Alarm also set up a called comm unit in the field, the operational platform used for 112 and dispatching. The responsible fire chief was given access to the unit and could thereby get a good overview of the rescue teams. During the operation, the public demanded lots of information about the situation. SOS Alarm explained that the National Information Number 11313 was the most trustworthy source of information for municipalities, media and the public. A massive amount of 112 calls were made during the operation from several thousand worried people who could see the smoke from many miles away. When airplanes started to waterbomb the fire, the public was informed about the danger of remaining in the area by text messages sent directly to cell phones. Finally, on August the 11th, the fire chief stated that the fire was under control. The operation continued until September the 11th, by which time some 36,300 acres of land had been devastated. <laughs>